Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, we're gonna be doing a declutter, or yeah, a like makeup declutter. As you guys can see, I have, this is my desk area right here, um, and I did want to declutter um, a box right there. Um, I actually declutter a lot of makeup that I didn't even know I still had. And if you want to see all the makeup that I declutter from that big box right over there, then just keep on watching. So I have uh, mainly like palettes that I use very often um, right here. And I do have this big box. I bought it, I don't know how many years ago. And I do want to organize um, this part right here. Um, this is like my everyday makeup that I use. And then... I love that little drawer right there. So I want to mainly, and I have my friend's legal set right there. Oh, I love it so much. So I want to focus today, I'm going to focus on this bucket right here. These are palettes that I have not used in so long. So many palettes that I will be giving away to my sister or my mom. And then I have brushes here that I literally have not used. And then I have this box that I bought, I don't know how many years ago. Um, it was a trend and I fell for it and like... But it's too big. I don't think this one would fit in one of these squares right here. Because um, I think it's wider than the size of that. Okay, so for today we're going to go through this and this right here. I don't have a lot of makeup in here. Um, but I do have things that I like need to get rid of. So literally, these are things that I literally just like put there because I don't really use. So this one right here, for example, it's literally brand new. And it's a really, oh, I have like swatches already here, but it's a nice color, but like you can, you can't even see it. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna just put the things that I'm not gonna be keeping on the side. And then the things that I'm gonna be giving away, I'm gonna put them on the little box. This I'm gonna be throwing away because it already has. Okay, so this one I did use a lot, um, but it does have like bubbles already. So I'm gonna be throwing it away in the next one. Again, this one beautiful color, but it has bubbles. Obviously, I'm not gonna risk like using lip like um lipsticks that are like really bad. So this one is a ColourPop like eyeliner, and it's it actually still works. So I'm gonna put it aside. I actually really like the eyeliners in the little pots like this. Um, I bought a few, but a couple of them actually came dry when I actually got my order. So. This one I have mostly like pigments. So this is a MAC pigment. It's like a li like really light purple, light like. And I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. This is a copper. This, this was like a Christmas gift that I got and it's almost new. I think I used it a couple times. I think the pigments I will be keeping just because um, I do use those very often. This is an Urban Decay um, Heavy Metals Eyeliner. I'm dying to get the gold one. Um, but I like this one. I'm going to keep it because it's literally brand new. I'm pretty sure I used it a couple of times. I have a mini Hula Benefit, which I'll definitely keep. This is a MAC pigment. This, I bought these pigments right when I wanted to get into like using like more glittery like things on my lids and I'm definitely keeping these MAC ones. I have this um, telescopic, um, what's it called? Mascara and I think I saw it on a TikTok or something and I this is what I hate. Like do you see how wobbly that is? Ugh, I just, I don't like how much I struggle with like putting it in. I'm going to put it on to the side because I'm not going to use that one. Um, I just need to sharpen. This is a Too Faced um, eyeliner. Uh, this is a beautiful shade in the shade Vanilla um, for inner corner pigment. Such a nice color. This is another MAC pigment. This is in the shade Blue Brown. And I remember everybody was obsessed with this pigment. Definitely keeping that one. I have this gold eyeliner from NYX that still works perfectly fine. So I'm going to keep it. I just need to buy more like drawers to like actually put it like make it fit right there like in my desk um oh this is so pretty see like some of these things like i forgot i had this is another pigment i'm keeping i think i'm just gonna keep the pigments that i think that i'm gonna be using oh this is a buxom in white russian this was one of my first like high-end lip glosses that i ever bought <laughs> 
And I have a little sample. This is a Glam Glow. I think I did a video for this mask. I'm pretty sure I'll link it um, to the site so you guys can watch that. This is a makeup drawer that has a lot of random things. This side has like powders and blushes. And then this has like random things. So let's start with this side. Ooh, this is my champagne pop. No, yes, yeah, champagne pop highlighter from Jaclyn Hill. Definitely keeping that one. I have a bunch of this, these like Jordana Cosmetics um, bronzers and blushes. I bought them in TJ. But look at that. That's like a really nice, like bronzy. It's a beautiful shade for blush, actually. Maybe I can depot these. Oh, this one reminds me a lot of the. Um, Luminoso from uh, Milani. I have two um, Hula Hula. <laughs> I have two Benefit blushes here. Uh, actually, just one. Um, this one is an eye candy one. This is a Bella Bamba Benefit blush, and this is a beautiful blush. Um, it's I think I like it for. Let's switch it right here. I like it for um, like summer. But it's actually like too pink for my taste. So I'm actually gonna give this one to my mom. I have this Laura Geller blush. I think it's like literally brand new, but like see those sh those colors like I don't wear those colors. <laughs> I have a Kat Von D Locket powder. I'm not gonna use that one, so trash. I have a Sun Bunny. Oh, I used to love this little sample, but I'm literally not gonna like wear it. This was one of my first Clinique blushes. Actually, it's the only Clinique blush I have. Soft Press Blush in the shade Pink Blush, and it's a really nice light pink, but it has a little bit of shimmer actually. In this shade, I'm give it to my mom. This was um, a Pop Beauty bronzer that I got on an Ipsy bag years ago and I think I used to uh, one of my first videos wow it's a beautiful but uh, bronzer one of my first videos I used this when I was super excited I'm not gonna even open that that's broken this is a um, translucent powder I don't need it this is a all over I think this is a blush from bare minerals so you guys can tell that's like brand new this is a pressed eyeshadow from L'Oreal. Oh, yep. This was one of my favorite shadows ever. Um, I have Coralista by Benefit. This is a little sample. Again, I'm not gonna use that. Becca Cosmetics, this is a, um, a highlight and it's like a little sample. This is in the shade Opal, which is a beautiful highlight. Such a pretty, Highlight. I'm gonna keep that one because I don't. I don't know if I have that one. This is a uh, Fox in a Box Hard Candy um, Skinny Dipping Blush, and it's like a duo. I'm not, I'm not gonna use that one. It's really old. Uh, NYC Cheek Glow. This reminds me a lot of the Clinique that I just put away. <laughs> this is a Kaylin Just Mineral Eye Polish. I got this one on a um, Ipsy bag as well, and it's a beautiful shade, but like. I'm not gonna use it. I have so many like eyeshadow palettes. Um, this one I'm definitely gonna keep. I have a um, what's it called? A old drugstore like face face full face tutorial. I'll link it up here because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the one that I use. It's a beautiful um, wet and wild palette. It's such like it, all these shadows like I'll definitely wear someday. <laughs> I have this ColourPop. This is a party of five super shark shadow. Again, it's completely new, so let's swatch it because it looks really pretty. Wow, that's so pretty. I'm definitely gonna keep that one. This is a Jordana Cosmetics um, matte lipstick, and this looks still good. This is not that old. I actually bought this one. Look at that. Um, when everybody was trying to figure out uh, Kylie Jenner's that like brownie um, lip color that she was wearing a lot and I found this lip color and I was like this is a winner 
another ColourPop um, shadow. This is a Slave to Pink, one of my favorite pink shadows ever. It is a hot pink. Again, I have a tutorial with this one. This is another, oh, this is actually like a bronzer from Bare Minerals. Um, I already have a favorite bronzer, so I'm gonna put it onto a side. I have these um, Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art things, like dual liners. Um, this was like a, wow, that is so pretty. Do you see that? That, wow. And then, but you know what? I think my mom would like really like these. I have, this is a Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. Well, that's pretty. But like, to be honest, like it's a shade like I would like not wear. Uh, beige Luster, this one. And then I have this coppery one, which um, it's in the shade Bronze Sheen. I think I wore this one once. Like, it's a pretty color, but I don't think I would wear that. This is a Benefit uh, What's Up Stick Highlighter. It's right here. It's like a really shine, shiny highlighter, but I'm not gonna wear this. It's super old, so trash. Another Jordana lipstick. This is more pinky. It's pretty. This is a True Match L'Oreal Super Blendable Powder. And I think I bought this as a bronzer, but it's way too orange. But I think I really liked it as a really like camo shade in the crease. So pretty sure I can do pop that. This concealer is so old. This is a MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I have another one here. Oh that used to be my favorite concealer actually. Neat Matte Trimity. Um, this is like a little eyeshadow which I'm not gonna which I'm not gonna use to be honest so I have this L'Oreal eyeliner it still looks good but I already have that Suba Beauty one I have this Aqua Eyes Makeup Forever eyeliner which I'm definitely gonna keep because you can never have too many black eyeliners um, I have a Bare Minerals Summer Bisque Concealer powder. I'm not gonna use that. I have these all these like ColourPop um, Lipsticks that when they first came out with the um, Ultra matte lip I went crazy and bought a lot of shades that I'm like why did I even buy those? So unfortunately like I'm not gonna like ever wear a blue lipstick. Unfortunately trash they go um, This is another of those color tattoo this literally it's brand new it has a sticker like there's another one of those Revlon photo ready eye arts this is a olive shade which is a really pretty shade actually but wow that's so pretty it, that's pretty Revlon ultra HD matte lip color which is like a red one oh I remember the that one so pretty I'm gonna keep this one because that's actually really pretty. This is another one, color tattoo. My God, which how many of these did I buy? And I remember this one I liked for my inner corner, but right here. But I ended up never using. So I feel so bad because a lot of these things I like got and I like didn't use. This is a highlight, but it actually doesn't have like the payoff. So. Another one of those blue <laughs> lip colors from ColourPop. Velvet. I don't even know what brand this is. Another one of those um, NYX liners. This is actually pretty. I mean, for all over the lid. I'll keep it just in case. Oh, this was a beautiful shade. That I'll definitely, like, I can use this one as a liner. Do you see that? That's so pretty. These I'm gonna keep because they're so pretty and like tiny. They're Too Faced um, blushes. One of my favorite um, powders that I used to use, this is the Hello Flawless 
by Benefit. Such a good powder. See, this is um, so this is a Moonstone from Becca, and this is another beautiful like highlight. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This is a Sonia Kashuk <clears throat> Warm Tan Bronzer. Pretty sure this is still good so a little bit orange but we'll see how that blends stay matte powder one of my favorite like drugstore um, bronzers um this is a milani face powder and i bought it in a deeper shade because i wanted to try it out as a bronzer which works really really good keep it this is a glow baked bronzer beautiful bronzer from milani look at that one of my favorite drugstore contouring um, little palettes and I love this is in Dulce de Leche and it's a beautiful like it's a perfect you have like my skin tone perfect um, contouring palette MAC Day Gleam Pressed Pigment that's pretty Stila Kitty Karma Glitter this one doesn't it's super dried. <laughs> um, this was, I'm gonna throw it away because it's literally like falling apart. But one of my favorite highlighters, Drugstore. This is a Master Chrome Face Studio Metallic Highlighter by Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. It is like a really pretty golden, golden shade. This is a NYX Lingerie Lip. This is even like a tint. But um, I remember I didn't like it because it didn't dry matte. I'm gonna go through these like mix soft creams, which I have a lot. <laughs> um, and I'm only gonna go through like I'm only gonna keep a few. These are the only ones that I'm gonna be keeping in the shade Amsterdam, Stockholm, and Canes used it once i didn't really like it um so i'm gonna put it aside this i went in wild highlighter but like it broke the little like plastic broke so this was a beautiful highlight so you like go like this and it's like a golden highlighter wow it's actually super pretty i'm gonna keep this one i think i i need to figure out a way to like fix this broken thing Stila um, Magnificent Metals, which is all dried up again. The Dose of Color Lip Colors. Um, I remember I was super excited to get these. Obviously, they're all dried up now. It's been years. Like, I haven't cleaned my makeup in so long. Oh, another one of those Revlon Ultra Matte Lip Colors. And actually, I'm going to put these ones in my bag because, again, that's really pretty. This is the Kathleen Lights Havana Lights. I went to um, Beautycon when she was first gonna come out with this one and we got a sample of it. And this is it here. I remember it was so pretty. But like, I don't know, it's it was such a dark color for her to come out with, but I'm gonna keep it because it reminds me of that day. This is a ColourPop Super Nova Shadow. Wow, that's so pretty. Some of the things I'm like, I remember buying them, but I never used them. Lip colors from ColourPop, again. Um, I don't even remember what shades these are. This is a Jordana Cosmetics eyeliner, which still works. Maybelline Dream Powder, used it a couple times, didn't quite like it. This is e a Bullium style uh, stylist essence mascara. It's old right. <laughs> um, another pigment. Okay, in the last drawer that I have here are just some palettes, um, which I'm pretty sure I have these because I was separating them from that one, uh, which those are like no, like I'm not gonna try. So I'm just gonna go through these. Um, this is a modern renaissance anastasia beverly hills palette such a beautiful palette i need to use it more i'm gonna keep obviously that one naked urban heat one of my favorite palettes ever i rarely use it though 
Um, this is a Beauty Creations Pro Bro Brow Kit. I really like that one actually. So I'm gonna keep it in case I have to do like client work. Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. And then here I have my ColourPop um, palettes here. Cute AF palette. I have, this is the I Think I Love You palette. Which I don't think these ones are available anymore. And then the Double Entender. <laughs> I have no idea. Which are like super like pretty. Um, Femme Rose. Oh, so pretty. And then the You Had Me At Hello. So those are the palettes that I have here. Which are obviously palettes that I'm keeping. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep these. So I'm going to put them inside. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is part one. I'm still going to go through a lot of these doors right, drawers right here. And if you want to watch part two in my declutter series, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!